Hello YouTube, Brandon here from the Gamers Association. I'm your coach of the Pearl City Palisands. Um This is our week one battle against Joe, aka Johnny Craig, and the Salt Lake City Savales. Joe has a very scary team, as you can see. He has the Lando T, uh potentially Mega Scizor. Ente, Jolteon, Weezing, and the Milotic. Uh, we have Flygon, Mega Slowbro, Girder, Mighty Enna, Alola, Marowak, and Sneasel. Um, uh, like I said in the update video, this is um, going to be week 1 through 8 recaps. I don't know if I'm going to be uploading the team builder. If I do, then I'm going to explain my team in the team builder. Um, but if I'm not going to, then it's already really passed. But I'm really thinking about doing team builders, so uh, we will see if I do that. But let's hop on into the... A battle I lead off with Flygon uh, as he leads off with the Lando T. I am special Flygon. I go immediately for the HP Ice as he stays and goes for U turn. He could be Scarfed. Uh, I know I am. He goes directly into the Milotic. He. Doing that with that play, he probably is Scarfed Lando T and he knows that. Since I outspeed him, that I am Scarfed as well. I believe I have enough speed to outspeed Scarf Lando T. Um, unless I have max speed to outspeed. No, I don't know if Entei is base 100 off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure he's like 95 or something. But I have enough speed to outspeed Scarf Lando. I know that. Uh, so he probably goes right into my Lodic, knowing that I am Scarfed as. I switch into my slow bro, and he predicts that and switches into the scissor. So as I go for a switch, he pursuit traps me, which that is very upsetting. Um, but I do have regenerator on my slow bro, so um, we should be fine. I'm very positive I have regenerator on it. But uh, I have Toxic on Alola Marowak to deal with the uh, Milotic. But I did forget that um, Milotic does get Marvel scale. So that's going to be annoying. But I am now going to Mega Evolve with my Mega Slowbro. And I'm going to cycle. Get some HP back as he Bug Bites me. I thought he Pursuit again. But I stay in and scald him, and I do get the burn. So luckily, we get the burn here, and he bug bites. I live on one. I knew I'd live, and I get off a slack off. So I'm um, getting some HP back. I believe this is a calm mind slow bro. Scald, calm mind, slack off, and um, psychic, or ice beam maybe. I'm pretty sure it's psychic. And then he bug bites, does a lot of damage because he's at basically neutral attack now. And I scald and kill him. Mega Scissor for Joe in our battles has done nothing for him. Uh, but I switch immediately into the Alola Marowak as he has a hidden power on the Jolteon. I'm assuming hidden power ice predicting my Flygon to come in. But I get my rocks up. Uh, I did switch into Marowak on the Jolteon because I did have lightning around. But here is where I misplay hard. Right here. I believe it is. He Ice Beams. Uh, I don't really know why. He could have just got it again. Ice Psychic. And that was my misplay right there. Because he Dragon Pulses me and kills me. I should have slacked off there. And that was the misplay. I don't know if it cost me the game or not because I feel like Joe would have had this game. But uh, we, we are going to lose. I'm just going to say now we do lose this because this. 
This is the problem, the wheezing. I just, I made a lot of misplays here. Um, I had, I just let my mic slow broke it weakened, and that was my answer to the wheezing. Everything else, I couldn't do much to. I thought I'd be safe because I had, um, might, uh, not mighty enough, uh, because I had Flygon in the back, special Flygon, but. It wasn't doing as much as I thought it would do, um, and I just tried everything just to weaken it, and it was not working. It really wasn't. I was in big trouble here, um, and he sludge bombs. Uh, it doesn't get the poison on Flygon, but I go for a flamethrower, and as you can see, that does nothing. That's when I knew I lost this. He sludge bombs. Doesn't get the poison again. I have to flamethrower here. I'm not carrying a dragon move. If I had dragon pulse, this would be fine, but I'm not carrying it. He sludge bombs that does way more than what I thought. And he poisons me. I'm not guts. He outspeeds me, he kills me. Um there is just nothing I could do to this wheezing once my Mega Slowbro died. And I know I'm rambling a little bit here, but I just couldn't do anything to it. I straight up couldn't do anything. I get crunch damage off. you sludge bomb kills me. I go into the sneasel. I knock off. Um, there goes the black sludge as he flamethrowers me. It doesn't kill. It does not kill. I ice punch kill him. Uh, and then he just cleans up the game with Entei, with E-Speed Entei. So, that's it. We're going to lose 3-0, week 1 against Joe in the Salt Lake City Savalis. Um, bad, bad, very bad plays on my part. Um, I had good predictions, like predicting my Lardic and then I toxic it. Um, I also had a bad prediction of staying in on the scissor with my slow bro predicting him to pursuit again um uh, i had a nice prediction of going into marowak on the jolteon because i knew unless he was carrying hp ground then i can uh completely wall him and if he was if he was carrying hp ground then flag on walled it so either way that was the thing Mighty Anna did absolutely nothing. I didn't expect it to, but I had Mighty Anna there. I had enough bulk uh, to live in Earthquake from the Land OT and Sub Zero Slammer it. That's why I had that. I had Ice Fang on it, but uh, I definitely misplayed. Hindsight's twenty twenty, but I realized it right after the battle. I was when I was rewatching the replay. I was like, yeah, that's what I did wrong. I let Slowbro die. And if I didn't, and I slack off on the um, the turn before his Milotic Dragon Pulse, then I think I would have been fine enough to make this game closer. I feel like Joe still would have won, but um, I believe I would have made it closer. I may have won because Slowbro can take on the Entei, the Lando, and the Weezing, whereas Flygon could have took on the Jolteon. Um, because I was scarfed, I could have earth powered it. So, I don't know. Like I said, hindsight's twenty twenty, but we will lose three zero week one. So Joe moves up to one and zero, and we fall to zero and one. But it's only week one. We have thirteen weeks of the season, so it's not a huge deal right now. Uh, but it does hurt a little bit losing three zero. Um, especially to a very big misplay, but. I guess you can't, uh, not everyone can make perfect plays all the time. So, um, it's whatever. We learn from it and we move on and we get better. So, that's all for week one. I will see you guys next week. And I've been Brandon and I'm out.